Welcome to Gig Harbor Paddling. Today we're going to talk about some new technology that we're going to use on the water. My name is Scott Puckett. I'm a coach for the Gig Harbor Canoe and Kayak Racing Team and I've developed some new technology that we're going to use to help our paddlers grow and become more successful. So this whole process is called an advanced video analysis. Um, we are essentially taking data from sensors and video and overlaying the two of them. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to gather a bunch of sensors. Uh, for example, we have a Garmin uh, computer which gets GPS distance and speed. We have a heart rate strap which gets really accurate heart rate. And then we have a cadence uh, sensor on the paddle which tracks an athlete's uh, stroke rate. And then we run a time trial while recording both the sensor data and the video and then after the fact we do some post-processing uh, and we combine the two of them to create the actual video analysis which is so useful for coaches and athletes to get some kind of snapshot of what just happened during that time trial to figure out uh, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are, uh, to understand uh, the difference between the strategy that they're trying to do and the strategy that they actually just performed. It's just an amazing tool that um, has so many opportunities and uses and I'm just still experiencing or still learning them all. In this specific example, we have several uh, charts and gauges going around. Uh, cadence, heart rate, speed on the bottom, uh, shown in the graph to help understand uh, where you're currently looking in relation to uh, the entire time trial. On the left, we have the real-time cadence, heart rate, and speed. Um, on the top left, we have 100 meter splits. For this instance, they, that, that distance can be changed to 50 meters or whatever you want. She just did a 20 second or 27 second first 100 meter and then on her second 100 meter to the 26. Um, I think she's about to go into the next split. We'll see that come in. So her third split was 27 seconds, which is just slightly longer than the previous. On the top, we'll see a distance bar, which shows the athlete's current progress through the time trial. On the top right, we'll see the actual timer for the event. And on the very top, we have a GPS path, which is color-coded to the speed of the athlete. In the very beginning, you can see that red section, and that's where the athlete was going their fastest. And the orange to yellow visually shows the athlete um, speed slowly tapered off throughout the time trial. Um, and then you could double check that by looking at the cadence and the speed graphs on the bottom and you can confirm that she did indeed taper off near the end. She's just about to finish her 500 meter time trial. You can see everything has stopped. All the sensors that were on her boat, we just took all of that off. Uh, now we're gonna collect the actual data from each sensor along with the uh, video file itself. We have to come into a computer and uh, pull all the files and merge them into certain formats uh, the whole process takes somewhere between like three and four hours, including rendering. It's a real <laughs> time crunch, but the actual end result is just so useful that it's worth it. <laughs> 